In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to take some pseudocode and convert it into Java code. The easiest way to do this is to take the pseudocode and copy it into a NetBeans project, like this. Of course, all of these pseudocode statements will not be Java code, and so we need to comment them out. The easiest way to do that is to use the comment button in NetBeans and then we can format it. With everything highlighted this can be done by using the tab key to get everything indented and then we can worry about sorting out the structure as we go. So for example all of these need to be indented by one so we highlight that and then hit the tab key uh, Blank lines don't need comments on. And so what we have now is some pseudocode within our main method in the, in the Java program. And the only task that remains is to convert these pseudocode statements into Java statements. So the first one, repeat three times, is obviously a loop. It's a deterministic loop because we know that it will iterate three times. And so we'll replace that with a for loop. with its open brace and down at the bottom here a corresponding close brace. Now if we're going to read some input that means that we shall need a scanner. So before the for loop we'll put in a scanner. Control space to give us the, uh, the help drop down menu. Pick the one that we want and it will automatically have put in the import statement as well. NetBeans is very helpful. So scanner keyboard equals new scanner system.in. We also know that we're going to have to read these three values here. So I'm going to declare them as ints before we enter the loop so that they're only declared once. Int height length and width. And now we can start thinking about how to convert each of these. Prompt the user is simply a message system.out.println to say something like, please enter three integers for the length, width, and height of the cuboid. And then we do the reading. Well, obviously using scanner we can input we want it to be an int value so um, length well, I suppose really what we need to do is to make sure that this order matches the order in the message so I'm going to change that so that we have uh, the same order height length and width And now I can do the input. Height equals keyboard dot 
next int. Length equals, let's copy that and paste it, width equals next int. So we've now converted part of the pseudocode into Java code, leaving an appropriate comment. So now we can move on to the calculations. Perform calculations, calculate the surface area. Well, this is going to be a variable uh, that we haven't declared yet. So we'll put this in here. Int. Now, of course, a variable name cannot have spaces. So we make sure that that is uh, the case. We'll also need a variable for the volume. And so we can now convert this piece of pseudocode by uncommenting the, the calculation that we've already worked out. Calculate the volume. Isn't it easy converting pseudocode to Java code? And now we can output the results. Well, obviously, we're not going to use output because that is going to be system.out.println. Surface area plus sur, then control space to bring up the, uh, the, uh, the completion of the variable name. And likewise for volume. And now we need to output whether or not this is a cube. Well, the if statement is necessary, but of course this uh, pseudocode is not suitable as a Boolean expression. So we have to do something like width equal to length and width equal to height. The next statement will be executed if the condition is true. So we'll put in the open brace and its corresponding close brace. System.out.println. This is a cube. Else. Open brace. Close brace. System.out.println. This is not a cube. And there we have the completed program derived entirely from the pseudocode. Very easy.